Alright, hello people. Let's talk about this fantastic game for a moment. I have a few tips and tricks that uh, you might also find useful. So first of all, you usually run this in a DOS box or some other emulator and Control F12 is something that speeds up the emulation which makes the game run much smoother. You see, there is something click here to finish, but if you hit enter, that also works perfectly fine. Use the arrow case as usual, and here we can relatively fastly get out of this very long starting screen. And any moment now, yeah, there we go. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is, before moving, go to options and set this right because this is how it default but you don't need that you don't need that you want the fast slide you want end turn that's basically mandatory and the rest is just fine as it is also i do like to get rid of this unimportant things you, you don't need the spams, right? So you see, now if the turn doesn't end, I can send this guy out here and I'm one step ahead. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, you can build a colony there. I don't know if you know, but you can rename these cities anyhow. Uh, so, usually almost all ties have two food, meaning it can support the uh, single guy. And then put him on a town hall and click in this box. So you get all the numbers and you don't have to guess, but it shows you whatever you need to know. Okay, that's great. So whenever you get Jefferson, it's a bigot right now. Cortez is also pretty good. Minuit, uh, in my experience, it's not that urgent. You can wait a lot with that. So if I build a colony here, like that, now I can load up the tools and be one step ahead again, instead of if I don't have. If you are one step away from the returning to Europe thing, uh, instead of uh, pressing left or any key or keys that will go there it doesn't go there well, I can show you save empty spot you see if I do that nothing happens load you just say to go to Amsterdam and it's gone so it's also saving one turn for you yeah let's trade so uh, hanging in with the Indians. In the capital, on medium difficulty, you can haggle nine times, but even on wise row, you can freely do five. So one, two, three, four, five, and then accept. And then they tell you that they want tobacco and whatnot. Okay, you can also. Oh, they give me some money, that's nice. Okay, so another thing is that I want to show you. Is usually it's a bad idea to put a, a colony right next to them. Uh, one, it will make them angrier, uh, not only because you stole their land, but because it's too close. So early on, you can ignore this guy, you can bring it with you, we don't have that much money, we are not that low. Also, uh, we have 120 gold, 
so we cannot afford a full batch of this so what you can do is grab this hold shift and release and say we I want 20 so that's even too expensive meaning we can take 19 or we can take the guy and this will quickly uh, make us handsome profit so if you trade from a ship then also if you trade from the ship for a hundred stuff you get 25 but if you trade from a wagon train and you're gonna get a wagon train easily you say go to be a lumber check for one turn okay now you we have turned lumber now you go carpenting uh, trade tools one two three four five six seven eight okay it happens we got Brewster so you can come back here and now we have the wagon train and we can buy it for relatively cheaply we can wait on that a little bit one two three four five oh it screwed up it happens okay so tobacco one two three four five six seven eight nine maybe you can push it further but nine is usually the safe spot so they want trade goods tobacco tobacco and uh, tools are cheap our rebel sentiment has reached 51 percent uh, in 20 terms which means that uh, at the same time one of the players has withdrawn from the game because that event is tied to your liberty it's just better to get the, the things you need here or miners lumberjacks definitely a good weekend you need a lot uh, having a master carpenter helps a lot to build up your colonies faster once you move to the phase okay while you are here uh, notice that you can drag and drop for expected to be born for the new world so if you forget to do something uh, you can just return the ships and that's really handy another trick uh, here is whatever cargo gets boycotted you can pay a money and lift the boycott so if you if your main trade is tobacco and the king wants to tax your tobacco it's probably worth uh, paying back another trick you can do is you see that uh, the ship didn't get in so you can press a and activate these dudes so they get in and you can already put them to work another thing is um, while in this fence or stockade or fort or fortress you can just drag and drop around the fence and it already brings up the second page another useful trick is if you get a scout then dismount the dude for one turn and get some food like here it's quite problematic because there's a lot of forests then you will get some extra horses and also sending people out on horseback it's much faster to reach the next destination that they need another good thing if you have the cargo capacity for it just gather all the excess food in your colonies just go from town to town and load up all the excess food 
and if you can gather 200 that will yield an extra people and early on when they don't you don't do much with the colonies they just make a lot of bells for you for the early fathers that's really useful you see how fast we get to the point where they are at 100 doing 9 bells per turn buying a private year early on is really good it has the most movement and not only useful to harass the other European powers but also to transport stuff fast uh, the same as transporting colonists with horses the other thing you need to know is so alt w i n is the cheat code if you are interested yes there is a cheat code reveal map complete map okay so when you hit this one you can do a really neat trick select your people that you want anyway and then go to the docks and I have my tool price a little bit up but it's usually one or two, one per two or two per three so you can uh, from the trade you have some money equip these guys with tools if you don't want to click just left enter down enter and no oh, it's already have stores but this way you can enter to the guys that you don't see and then we are back okay so then as I told you shift one and the tool price goes up and buy one pieces as long as it goes up okay so that's it and then you simply sell the tools and we started with 2000 something and now we have 6000 and you can also sell the tools one by one and the price goes down maybe not as much as otherwise you see we sold 600 we can buy back as much as we need for 500 and we still gained a lot of cash and after you've done this then you can bring them into the new land so that's another neat trick and then we are done with the European port we talked about the towns and what you can do there we talked about the menus and we talked about the trade options so one thing uh, to notice that if you were lucky to find the capital that's the best spot to trade um, because you can haggle more that's just so simple and they also offer better prices in general for the things they want if you have a private year they in the city they can attack it regardless of the peace and war situation okay let's um, load up a game this was my big Spanish game I did last time um, and this is the final save before I declare independence so let's just do that game is signed and now nothing's gonna happen so I will 
Yeah, this ambush mode was where we used that. Okay, so they have arrived. Okay, so they have arrived and finally connect. And the best thing that you can do is come outside of the city and attack them. Because if you look at this, you have attack bonus and ambush. If you attack from the city, they get terrain advantage over you. And if you come out, they don't have the defense bonus and you get it as an ambush bonus. So always attack it from outside the city. And if that happens, then next turn you can send it in the guy, put it back on the horse and fight again. So actually after you initially build the army, you don't need any more muskets. So the whole independence war is fought on horses. <clears throat> okay. How did I get bombard bonus if there is no ship around? Tell me in the comments if you know why is that bombard bonus there. Because you know, if the ship was there, fine. So as far as I know, but it's not confirmed, the more soldiers you have in the city, the more strong it appears to the enemy and it doesn't count in the artillery. So I have relatively few units here and I have a bit more around this way. So that's why they came here and uh, the Tory army always attacks only coastal cities. If you don't have any coastal city when declaring independence, the king automatically wins. So just, it, it has been tested just for you know. So in theory you bring it in and give them horse and they can go back and fight again. And that's how you win the war. So after you know what you're doing, it's very relatively easy. And I think that's all I wanted to tell you. So if you find something interesting, tell me in the comments and let's talk about this. Bye.